Welcome back. This is Zimdog. This is a, another episode of our 2021-2022 leveling guide. And we are here at Old Berg. Down in F8. This is the pond. Looking in this direction, this is the pond. Sometimes called the boot. And uh, we're just going to do some fishing down here. Uh, yeah, we'll do pearl barley on one. But the question is, what kind of... Uh, ground bait. Let's just go through some of our Crucian Gibble ground bait. I think four is a little big, right? We'll go 12 pearl barley. And I don't think I want to use a clip. We'll see if this is this this area down here is sort of producing like it typically does. Typically, you can kind of cast right here in front of you all the way up to those reeds, even over on this side as well. And... Um, get all kinds of good some good fishing going in all right i think i also want to try we'll go 14 on this one with sweet dough we're almost out of sweet dough we do need to make some more of that we'll see how well sweet dough does we'll throw this one even shorter And then at least to start with, let's go let's just go with bread on this one. So look, I don't know what this is going to be like down here. In the olden days, you felt like it, it seemed like this spot you could always catch fish. You could. This is one of those spots where if you're looking to fill up your bag with fish, uh, catch a hundred fish. This was one of those spots you could do it in the least amount of time. But typically, what you were catching was. Crucian gibble roach but then every once in a while you know tench might come through you could definitely hook into some carp down here so we'll just see what this area is like for us right now there's a fish on something okay all right we're two for two on roach I don't think we've had anything on bread yet. Yes, we are digging into the wood here to find some worms. It's a gibble. How much silver do we have? Oh, we've got more than I thought. Okay, so we do this for a little bit and then we go back and we try to level up our bait harvesting, right? So we make a little bit of... Um, Make a little bit of sweet dough. The question is, are we going to go to winding to make a little bit of wheat grain? I, 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 we can skip wheat grain for now. I wasn't going to make much anyway. And frankly, it's, it's a little expensive to make these days. So we'll make a little bit of sweet dough. And then we just make a ton of semolina, right? I actually wouldn't mind using semolina in this spot. Might be better than bread. Bread. 
Red was just really slow and not impressive. Can we try oatmeal? I feel like oatmeal is going to also be slow and not impressive, but you never know. We'll go dig over here just to be a little more realistic. The other thing we could do is we could float fish again, just sort of right here in front of us. It's usually pretty pretty decent. If you're wanting to level up your float a little bit. So we're at eight fish in four minutes. Yeah, that's the kind of, that's the kind of bite rate you hope for down here. Quantity over quality. I think that middle rod has a fish on it. Yeah, there we go. Just a small fry. Nice, Crucian. First fish on oatmeal. Little roach. We're at 32%. All we need is 3% for garlic dough. Will we have enough silver to get there? I don't know. Uh-oh. We hit a common carp or something? It's not a roach. By the way, 
if you don't want to risk losing your fish, don't do what I just did. I, I did that partially because it's not the end of the world if this fish gets off. It, it just depends on what it is and how long it's going to take to tire out, right? It might be a small common. We might get it in. Oh, there it popped off. Most likely common carp is what I would say. It's hard to know for sure though. Let's get a couple more fish and let's go see what we can do in terms of leveling up bait harvesting. I don't know if we'll have enough silver to necessarily get to 35%. I don't know. It ran like a carp, though. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. The other possibility, maybe like a tench or something. Um, but some kind of some kind of carp, bigger than we need to be catching at this point, is, is more likely what that was. But because we're over here at the pond, the whole reason for fishing here before you have bigger gear is because if you want to be patient and catch those bigger fish, you at least know you're not gonna get spooled because the fish is gonna run away from you and so you can keep it in front of you inside the pond. As long as it doesn't get out into the larger, you know, old berg area, then you theoretically, you know, even if you have to sort of walk it down a little bit, you can keep from getting spooled in the pond area. Definitely would slow down a little bit overnight here, but it wouldn't die completely. I mean, you still probably catch a few crucian gibbles in the nighttime. But the bite rate down here still seems to be really good, kind of like, like it typically is. All right, let me respawn because I think that'd be a lot faster than running back. Uh, I'll be right back. Twenty-two silver. 
Uh, is that worth trying to finish? We had, what, four of them? It's getting a little late. I don't know if we'll be able to hit enough roach to do it, but we can try. So what do we need for sweet dough? Wheat flour, milk, sugar. Let's get at least three. Wheat flour, milk, sugar times three. It's just, it's more expensive than you realize to um, Try to level up bait harvesting. Even though 80 silver feels like a lot, we'll blow through that so quick. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Maybe though. Uh, milk. I don't think you get any kind of discount from buying in bulk. Sugar is the expensive ingredient here. So, um, Come on, be a big fat roach. We need to catch like, I don't have any roach mix made, right? Uh, let's do, let's do fake bream mix instead. Instead of like hitting crucian gibble roach on the, crucian gibble mix on the nose. Let's just do a fake mix. All right, we want to keep digging in case we get another point here or there. And let's make some sweet dough. So how much do we make each time we make it? How much do we get? I mean, so this will give us another 90 pieces. Oh, there we go. We got a point. And then I think semolina is is really can be a good bait at mosquito and um, so wheat grain is not for sale here. For semolina we need semolina milk sugar. So we'll go do that now. We'll get at least we're not gonna have enough silver to anywhere near this, but I don't think. But we'll do what we can. Come on, be a roach. Is it a little too big to be a roach? What is that? That's a big old gibble. Holy cow. Wait till we catch a couple more fish here, then we'll go do some more crafting. Oh, I pulled it too quick. That is my fault. This is the one that we hadn't... Um, oh, did I get it snagged? That is frustrating. Uh Okay. Yeah, we got plenty of sweet dough now. Sweet dough is probably more likely to catch the crucian gibbles. We probably ought to switch all three to pearl barley. So it's got to be over 350, and we've got four, I think. And right now we're looking for semolina milk sugar. I can't remember what semolina looks like. Uh. 
Oh, here it is. All right, we're gonna get 10, 10, 10, and this is the one that'll hurt, right? 10. So we can get, we could probably make about five more after this. So even if we get points on every one, we're going to still be way short. But at least we're making progress. We, we keep making progress. Every little bit counts. And we're catching some decent fish here, too. Oof. It's not what you want to see. A little grass carp. Fishing with a picker rod now available. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, so this isn't a roach spot. Although, we are catching some nice Crucian Gibbles and stuff, so we'll keep fishing there a little bit. Um, Semolina. good run right now. Ah. So we could get up to like 33.5. Big time in it. That's 33.8. That is awfully close to uh, let's throw some semolina on, by the way. Awfully close to 34%. We'll throw some semolina on both of these. I would expect semolina to work very similarly to pearl barley in terms of catching these crucian and gibbles. Although the pearl barley has been doing really well, obviously. Boink. I'm wondering if we should... Why is the fair still going on? I thought the fair was over now. I'm not complaining or anything, but... It's a little confusing. Um, why don't we sell all the fish other than those few roach? So we're up to 31. We've been making good silver just since we've been over here in this spot. All right, so all these roach for 1.55, 6.24, And that puts us back at 57, which I think we can do 10 more semolina, maybe plus a little bit. We're gonna have so much semolina. It's all good though. Oh wait, do I still need more sugar or am I not remembering how sugar works? Hold everything. Yes, I do still need more sugar. I was like, wait. That used a lot of silver, didn't it? So what are we hoping this will get to? Ooh. 
I mean, there's a... Wait, is there a chance? Yeah, there's a chance this could do it. We need to hit a couple of point twos instead of point ones, and and then just not have any failures, and not very many that don't give us points. Now, the closer we get to 35, I think the more likely, you know, we might not get points on one, but... Look how good Semolina's working on these Crucian Gibbles. Yeah, don't be afraid to take Semolina back to Mosquito as well to get those Crucian Gibbles, especially at night. You can go on a good run of, of, of uh, Crucian Gibbles. All right, let's see if we can get there. All right, we need point nine. Okay. That was a, that was not that was not good. We did not want to see that failure there. We got point two. Yikes. Five in. I'm feeling like we're not going to quite get there, but another point two, and it'll make it close. This spot is like on fire. All right. What a time for a lucky shovel this would be. That is four in a row with no points. That is brutal. Five in a row with no points. That is tough. That is really tough. Oh, we do have caddis, a couple caddis fly. Just trying to figure out, like, what could we use to go finish off that rough, I mean, that roach order once it's daylight. I love these huge gibbles, though. Good job, Semolina. What do we need for roach ground bait again? Caramel. We've got enough of that. We just need bloodworm and ground crackers. Very cheap. Let's make a couple stacks of that. 
we'll try to finish off this roach order as long as it's not about to be up. I guess we ought to double check on the time of the cafe order, right? It's getting close, 22 hours. We should be good. I guess we could have also done rough. I don't know, I didn't think about that. Not exactly sure where, but I think we could have. Oh, they've got sales back. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Um, what do we want? Crackers and something. Bloodworms. All right, we're going to do two of these. Another big boy. Once we get that ground bait, uh, I mean, sorry, once we get the bait harvesting leveled up finally so that we can make garlic dough, we, we're going to have to still level up ground bait, which is a whole nother thing. Not as expensive, though, but it is another expense. Past the time, we're going to go get I'm actually a little concerned that we could run out of pearl barley. Um, so I feel like let's go ahead and make one more of those for now. All right, we need a milk. Semolina. Are we going to have enough for two? For two? Yes. So we need one more milk. Okay. Are they biting again? It's like that dead part of the night. I'm going to put a big hook on this. I'm going to put an, an eight on with semolina. What size does this have on it? 12. Let's go 10. So we've got an eight and a 10 to see if we can like, it'll probably slow the bite right down, but maybe we can hit a really big one. Or more big ones.
That's what we want. Those are some decent silver. They add up. Oh, yeah. All right, we're about to switch over to roach. We're going to go down to that bream spot. See if we can catch some roach. All right. Come on. Big money. Big money. Can't look. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's do that again. That's daylight. Let's go. Somebody catch a fish. I'm going to go ahead and get this one soaking over here. Again, we're going to fish basically in the bream spot. It's like we know that roach are over here, so... Let's just see how we do. We'll put that, pearl barley, and peas in, I think. The problem with pearl barley is we'll probably catch a lot of small bream. But... Um, Man, these big old gibbles are so fun. All right, so we want to put the roach mix in and peas. Do we have a smaller one? Yeah, we could do 12. We just want to try to catch some fatty some fatty roach real quick to finish that order and see if that allows us to um, finish leveling off bait harvesting. Alright, so this one we'll do pearl barley. Might not should have left that That same hook size on the middle one. That's probably a little big for roach. So we'll see what we catch here on the caddis fly and then we'll maybe back it down just a little bit. We don't need to like go for trophies. We just need them to be over 350 grams or whatever. All right, give me one minute here.
All right, it looks like there's a fish on that middle line, right? This is on the caddis fly. I bet this will be a roach. Question is, is it quite big enough? Oh, it's a tench instead. All right, let's back this down to... Oh, man, maybe we will keep it at eight. <clears throat> We just don't, <clears throat> we don't want to catch the like really small stuff. Maybe this isn't the most active roach spot. Roach are pretty much everywhere. I mean, so we could go throw it back just like in the area we were catching Crucian Gibbles. I bet during the day roach will probably be there, but... See if pearl barley is getting roach or still bream. That's a bream. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so maybe this spot isn't the best idea. I could cast it out into that area. Peas aren't doing anything, which peas tend to be pretty slow anyway, unless it's like a really good, I don't want to use caddisfly too aggressively because we have so few of them and we really don't want to purchase bait right now. So this is the caddis fly line. Okay.
Okay, this is the caddisfly line, so this should be a roach. Unless it's another weird tinch or something. A gibble. Boo gibble. I mean, we've got enough fish. We probably should just not worry about the roach order, sell them, and see if we can't push ourselves over the edge on the garlic dough. Whatever strategy this is we're using right now, it's probably not a good one. It is a crucian. The roach are not very strong right here, which is honestly kind of surprising me, but. Crucians are strong. This has been a really good tinch spot at times. I don't know. There's no reason to think that roach are going to be like really good there. I don't know. You never know. Again, you can, if you're not looking for them, you can pretty much catch roach anywhere. Let's see what we got here on Caddisfly. Okay. That's the sound of M Dog giving up on Roach right now. We'll let those lines sink for a minute. We are going to just sell the fish though. Let's make sure nothing rolled off. Only thing is, if a Crucian or a Gibble order popped up right now, we'd have it covered. But I'm good with it. Alright, so we made 46 more silver. How much semolina do we think we'll have to make? I think we can get it in four. So let's try it in three. And let's dig. Oof. We got a point on digging. We are on the Crucian Gibbles right now. That's all I can tell you. Alright, where's a good lucky spot to stand for our crafting? How about right here? There's no overlap there, so we'll make this last batch of semolina. Now you give it to us. So 
So at some point we want to go back and um, I don't know what I was looking at that for. At some point we want to go back and get a bunch of um, like crackers to level up, start leveling up ground bait. I think we can do that pretty quickly, pretty aggressively. All right, so we need what, a wheat flour? <clears throat> Was I right on wheat flour? fine. We're going to be fine. Hey, by the way, while we're here, oh, how is it 28 silver? I knew it was expensive, but it's not always been that expensive. Good thing it's not that good a bait. I mean, it's okay at times, but it's not that good. All right, how much do we have now? Like 90? 99. I mean, we're gonna need a ton just so that we can even just level up out of this. So, um, we need a ton, a ton, but we'll just get a few for now. Um, where do we want to end up here? I mean, it's possible that we want to try Bream again next episode. But I also wouldn't mind trying Semolina at Mosquito. It just depends on like what time of day it is and what the orders are like. And how we're feeling so I think we'll stop here at Mosquito since it's free to travel here before we decide to necessarily go to Old Berg my guess is we'll go to Old Berg but we'll see Ooh, you love that rough order and really there are so many easy orders right now How much is that bleak worth? Okay, awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you all being here. Thank you for the support. And we will see you next time. Tight lines.